little bit of a different video today. See those three empty totes? Well, they had wool in them or yarn in them. In the UK, we call everything wool. And uh, they're empty. And the reason is they're on the shelves in the craft room. So I've got to take you through. It's not finished yet, but it's very near to. Right, this is the door. Jan's craft room. And you've seen that one before, haven't you? If you can read this. You're standing too close to my stash. My friend made me that. So in we go now. As you can see, lots more floor. My new little hoover, but I haven't used it yet, as you can probably tell by the disgusting state of the floor. <laughs> I bought it because I cannot carry the big hoover up and down the stairs. Right, I start with my window. This is one chair that I got given by my next door neighbour. The other chair isn't up yet. Um, still got the dining chair. <laughs> anyway, the units that were... Oh, let me sit down. The units that were downstairs standing upright are now the other way across underneath the windows which uh, Sue and I both decided it was a, uh, you know, good, <laughs> good idea to turn them on the side, yeah. Uh, sorry if the faces scare you in the window, but they're my um, heads. I thought I had some ladies' heads somewhere, but maybe they're in a bag somewhere else. I'll, or maybe I'll find them, I don't know. I seem to be missing an awful lot of things. I was looking out for some um, female books today and I just can't find them anywhere. But that's another thing. Uh, the curtains, I'll show you that curtain because it's easier to see. They're just imitation patchwork. And I've got my little... Oh, I don't know if you can see it or not. I don't think you can actually. The, weather, the windows there. It's a little butterfly anyway. And it's made out of, uh, well, resin. It's not glass. This is my view from my craft room it's like the garden view but higher up uh, which is marred by all the rubbish in next door's garden but we can't do anything about that can we right my swift's made its way upstairs but the bull winders haven't as yet right where shall i start i'll start at this corner here behind the chair i've got my a uh, fan, which is the upright one, and the small one there is the heater, because the radiator in here it doesn't work for some reason or another, but even so it wouldn't work because it's behind these units now that are underneath the window. <laughs> the purple folders are waiting to be filled with the patterns that are all loose at the moment. Um, those are some magazines, machine knitting books and magazines at the bottom. I've got a little bit of the baby wool there. I'm not going through everything because I would be here for about a week. And this is my little table that's going to be sort of my um, pattern browsing table. Or hold a cup of coffee or whatever, yeah. <laughs> when the other chair comes upstairs. I've got another PC chair downstairs. That's some of the books that didn't fit downstairs. Um, there's some yarn squashed in there. And some more squashed in at the top. At the very, very, very top, I've got um, the oddments of uh, ice yarns in those bedding plant boxes. They're what I use when I'm doing my, um, you know, the shawls and the scarves I do with multi, multi colours, yeah. There's some crochet books. These are single leaflet patterns that are actually full. There's some more very old leaflet patterns there that are full. There's some more and some more at the bottom. But as you can see from this pile here <laughs> and this unit here that used to be downstairs, I still got a lot of patterns to sort, but that's going to be another project that's a basket that came from downstairs let me push it with my foot and uh, the ladders which I need to leave here because obviously I can't reach at the top <laughs> even though I'm not supposed to be on ladders at all I probably bring my little um, 
grab a stick down from upstairs. Well, what's mostly here is cottons or um, silky type materials, you know, like emu pearl if you're ancient like me. Uh, emu silhouette, again, if you're ancient like me and you can remember these things. Um, then I've got some patents, uh, cotton down there and more, more emu pearl there. It goes all along here, all behind the curtain, all down there. Uh, and I've actually, this box here has actually got the, um, you know, the folders in for the patterns. What do you call them? The, those leaflet things, you know, you put them in, so they're under there. So these two beautiful cloths are uh, uh, throws that I got from Grace. And I do, I intend to use them because when the sun comes in, it's going to hit the opposite side, which, sorry, <laughs> knocked it. Uh, the opposite side of the yarn which you you know you can't see uh, these two boxes are the only two boxes left now that are full of yarn the bottom one's still got some ice yarn bits and pieces in the one at the top's got maple um, double knitting um, I did crochet a jacket in it so you may remember it they're all very nice colours very um, I don't know whether this will do it actually or not. I did manage to gather this off uh, camps in the bargains. <laughs> you know me and my bargains. <laughs> right, let me just see if I can move these two. Because behind, that's patents, that's Aran thicknesses. Aran thicknesses. Right at the very, very top is the 400 grams mostly, there's some 100 grams there 400 gram balls of various arrows oh you're not seeing it very well there are you oh, what have I done? oh I know what I've done I've zoomed in when I should be zooming out <laughs> sorry about that, I wonder what was going on then um, yeah that's the arrows more bits and pieces of aran double knits more double knittings and at the very very bottom I've got some bits and pieces with Lurex in and the very very bottom of there which you can't actually see uh, I don't think I can make it any brighter is some Louisa Harding oh yeah I'm sorry you can't see it very well oh there it's getting a bit better now that's some Louisa Harding and some um, um, what do you call it? Sari silk and stuff. Yeah, this metal thing here, let me go back a bit, is the rail. I'm sure I'm still on zoom. That's better, I was still on zoom. The metal rail there is what I hang my um, clothes on. You know, when I used to do craft uh, shows and things. Right, let me move my chair and then I can get to. That's another box that hasn't quite made it for uh, <laughs> an assorted box that hasn't quite made it on the shelf yet. <laughs> right, these two. Um, what are they called? Shelving, shelving things. They're holding some booklets and patterns and stuff. Whoops. Do you know I'm not very good today? My fingers are just not working. <laughs> no, I can't move it. Oh, it's too heavy for me to move. Anyway, behind all of this, let me see if I can show you. Behind all of this is mostly ice yarns or different things. These are all ice. People say, what kind of yarn is it? Which ice is it? And to be quite honest, it's a bit waste of time me telling you what it is because ice change their uh, repertoire whatever you want to call it so fast that even if you knew the names of these you probably wouldn't be able to find them because the next time I go on if I find a yarn and I particularly like using it I go back on um, ice to get some more of it it's happened to Sue as well and it's not there anymore <laughs> so there's not much point in me telling you what they're all called uh, that's more Aaron 
And then in the corner there we have more ice. Now they still do these uh, magic. It's all like random shades. They do still do that. Um, more and more ice. There's ice in the corner where you can't see hiding behind this chunky. And uh, oh, somebody's been ordering from Kemp's, not Kemp's, um, Wool Warehouse because it always comes in our Gandhi bags. Um, there's more ice there. Again, there's a lot more hidden in the corner because all this chunky has sort of got wedged into a, a no space space, if you know what I'm saying. It's sort of a gap between that unit, that unit, so we just squashed a load of chunky and hopefully when I start, oh, my little wheel just fell off my wagon, just shows you, I shouldn't try to move it, it's too heavy. Uh, there's yarn all down there which you won't be able to see because it's all too dark and I can't move this because these units are very good but their casters will not stay on the bottom of them. In fact, uh, you know, I've got a good idea to take them off completely and just leave them so you have to drag them out. Anyway, oh, oh there's my legs. <laughs> the mirror's there. Um, at the bottom there we've got more ice. <laughs> and some more ice. And the lady with, at least she's got her knickers on. Uh, more ice there. Uh, let me just zoom in a bit because I'm not moving again. More ice yarn. More ice yarn. And at the top I've got more ice yarn but they're like in the cakes. Um, we couldn't get the cakes over here. Although there is two there in purple. Yeah, We, could, we can't get the, the cakes that you get in America very easily here. Or if we do, we have to pay a small fortune. Um, at the top there, the pink, the green and the lilac are ice. I'm not sure if they're cotton or what they are, but they're up with the cotton. Um, a lot of those there are uh, shoulder and style cotton that I bought from um, eBay last year or the year before. Um, there's some more cottons and things there. This weird looking object here is a, a coat hanger that's meant to display sweaters. Um, this is the James C. Brett, the Marble Chunky. Um, I bought a lot of that, not last year, the year before. So that will get used up because I've got ideas of making hats and scarf sets this year. Um, that's some more Chunky. And a little bit more of the um, James C. Brett there. At the bottom there behind the mirror. Oh, let me move the mirror. There's some double knitting there and some baby double knitting and some other strange double knitting there that I'm not sure. <laughs> it's in skeins but I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um, and you've got my hoover or vacuum cleaner or whatever you want to call it. That's going to be my upstairs one because I can't keep carrying that big heavy. Um, you know, hoover a vacuum about. And then this little bit here is my pride and joy because it's got American yarn in it. US yarn, yeah. You probably know what it is better than I do. So there's no point in me Ooh. telling you what it is because you probably recognise it all. It's a mixture of Karen and of Red Heart and uh, different things like that. And... Uh, the one at the bottom's just got some oddments in it. I don't know quite what they are. That box there, it says it's Red Heart, but it's some Red Heart that I bought from Kemp's. Um, and it's just a double knitting. I, you know, I don't know. It says it's Coates Red Heart, which is different than your Red Heart. So it'll get used up, but it isn't actually technically American yarn, I don't think, because it's... Uh, that's where it is. And on the back of the door, I've just got some pockets that I used to keep my necklaces in and now they're in somewhere else. So they're just there just in case I need to pop anything small. And you know when you find something on the floor and it's small and you're not, you know it comes from somewhere but you're not quite sure where it comes from. Well, to pop it in there. So anyway, this is where my swoop.
the stash room is. As you can see, I've freed up quite a lot of, well, I would have if the chair wasn't here, quite a lot of dirty carpet. <laughs> oh, that is waiting to be hoovered because it's full of bits and sellotape and all sorts of stuff. So there's quite a lot of room in here for me to sit. And uh, I've got my table, you know, to put my drink on or to sort my patterns out on. I've even got my waste paper basket down there waiting. Nothing in it at the moment, thank goodness. And so what I'm going to do now is um, I'll just pan around. This is the doorway where you come in. So as you come in, this is, uh, you know, as you're going along. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Not there. Cross down there and then all behind the two uh, book things whatever there's yarn which I can't show you because I can't move because you see the what well, you can see or not the, the little foot's just fell off me so I can't move it <laughs> they're actually so flimsily made but you know they're just what I wanted to get for temporary use and then you will see a lot more in the corner of the ice yarn once I get that. I filled in a no space, if you know what I mean. Well, actually, it's Sue that filled it in for me. And um, there you go, all the, all the way across there, there's a whole wall full of it all. So all I need to do now is to make some more things for my Etsy shop and use it all. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to show, we forgot to go back, don't we, under the window again. Hiding behind the curtains is even more. But it is helping me so much, you know, to have it all in one place. Because, you know, before my patterns were somewhere else. Oh yeah, I forgot to pad across the patterns, didn't I? This is all up here, all the way down to the bottom, behind the step ladders, behind the bottom, all the way to there. And then we've got all the way from there, all the way up here, and up and up and up and up and up. So this is my, there you have a ceiling fan. <laughs> and I don't know, you still can't see my butterfly, can you? Let me see if I can zoom before we go. Why is it not zooming? Oh dear. She's zooming, but very, very slowly. And you still can't see my butterfly. Oh, oh, there you go, there. There you can see it now. It's got little wind chimes at the bottom of it. There's my butterfly. So I'll leave you with the rain clouds as it's been pouring down all day as you can see by the puddles on the roof but the sun is now trying its best to come out which is like the wrong time of the day isn't it because it's about half past five six o'clock now but there's one of the neighbour's dogs <laughs> But that's about it really, we won't go any further, I'm sure you don't want to see next door's garden. But you can see how much greenery I've got. How much green. I might be in the middle of town, but you know, you don't notice it the same. So this is going to be my craft room, I can turn the chairs around and sit outside and look outside. I can open the windows, all the windows wide. My son, when this was his bedroom, he, he wanted to have a patio doors so that he could go and sit out on the roof, but we didn't think that was a good idea because we would have had to reinforce the roof if him and his friends were deciding to jump about on it, you know what I mean? <laughs> There's still nothing in my little chest of plastic drawers yet, but I have got a load of rubbish that I'm conveniently hiding behind there. But this, this um, mannequin reminds me so much of Buster because he never bothered about anything. But when I took this out of its um, 
case or what its box he ran straight up to it and bit its nose off so you can't actually see but it's actually glued back on his nose is glued on again <laughs> he, he bit his lip there its lip and he bit his nose off so I guess he didn't it must have looked realistic to him and she needs a wig on doesn't she she doesn't look very nice without her wig on and that is the most gruesome baby head I've ever seen <laughs> it's like chucky isn't it well, you're not exactly excited if you were to model a baby hat on that <laughs> it looks grotesque <laughs> Oh well, never mind. It's good if I don't do baby hats anymore. So, I probably will do another little video, but this is just what I thought I would show you. Um, this will be it, really, until I get the other chair up here, until I finish vacuuming up here and um, put the leg back on that. <laughs> oh dear, then I can actually move it. If I could move it, I could show you what was behind it, but you'll have to do that another day. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my little trip around here. Uh, so this is my little shop for myself. Um, my little business stash. Um, as you know, I have to buy everything online. So it's nice to just come up here, sit on my chair here, have a good look around and get inspired by the colours. And think, hmm, yes, I know what I'm going to make with that. Um, it's the way it talks to me, you know, um, I can come up here and look at a certain colour and think, yes, I know what I'm going to make that, you know what I'm saying, rather than the other way around. Um, I'll let the colours dictate to me what they want to be. Um, so that's what it's going to happen. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my little tour and I shall speak to you all very, very soon. Bye now.